Welcome back to The Fight. I'm Gary Sieber. And when you say The Fight, you think about the Fighting Irish, right? Our next guest is the only Notre Dame coach in history to win a national championship as a player and as a coach at her alma mater. Joining us now is the Karen and Kevin Keyes women's head basketball coach, newly named at Notre Dame, Niel Ivey. Niel, welcome to The Fight. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You bet. It's nice to have you here. And you've been preparing for this moment for a long, long time. You now have almost uh, have almost three weeks uh, into the new gig. And what have you been up to in that short time? Well, I've been on the phone. Uh, <laughs> it started right after the announcement. So just recruiting, you know, building relationships with, uh, you know, recruits and their parents and families and connecting with the team, the current team. So I've been on Zoom calls with them and, you know, just via text, via calls, um, and then just, you know, in, um, just talking to support staff and staff and, you know, those type of calls. So it's a lot of connecting, I would say, the first week. But recruiting was the, my number one, my number one task. That was the first thing I did. And it, it has to be hard to do that in a, in a pandemic situation. How, how are you? I mean, just on the phone, using video. What do you how do you do that? Yeah, just via via text, just phone calls, uh, a couple of FaceTime calls with recruits. Um, yeah, just that's the only thing that you can do at this point. It's a lot of technology and not, a lot of connecting through technology. Yeah. Do you find that you can build a relationship that way or is it just not quite the same? You know what? This is this is the age for for this. Uh, this generation is, is social media. It is technology. They're on the phones all the time. Um, they're mobile phones. And so for me, it was, it was it's kind of easy because that's where that's where they connect. That's where they um, that's where they're on as much as they, they're on that as all the time. So that that part's really easy for this generation. But it's, yeah. it was definitely different when I was being recruited. Yeah, and now that you mention it, with my kids, I'm always trying to get them to make a phone call, and they'd rather text, so I guess maybe exactly. there's something to that. Hey, you just spent nine months as an assistant coach with the NBA's Memphis Grizzlies. What was that like? How's the WNBA, or, or I'm sorry, the NBA different from, say, college? It was incredible. It was it's such a great experience. I learned so much. Uh, Taylor Jenkins, the head coach of the Memphis Grizzlies, was such an incredible basketball mind. He allowed the entire coaching staff to be a part of every aspect of the program. Um, and, and the organization, and it was just phenomenal. Uh, I learned so much in a short amount of time. Every day was just, uh, it was almost like I was, I, I gained, I was in a, it was getting my doctorate in, in coaching. This was what I felt like, because it was just so much information and so much knowledge in the NBA. Um, just in an elite organization, everything, every aspect of the organization from performance staff, to performance group, from the players, you know, marketing, everything was just in, a, in an elite level. So I learned so much. I learned, you know, culture, foundation, so many things that I learned that was, you know, even separate from just the basketball X's and O's. Sure. And in the X's and O's and the baskets, the same height and all that kind of stuff. I saw there are some similarities, but the pro game is so different in so many ways from college. Can you bring a lot of that and, and use that experience to enhance what you do in college? I think so. I think, I mean, it just depends on how much translates, I think, just from, you know, the NBA to, to college. But there's so much vital information that in, in the NBA that, like I said, the, the way they manage where they, their organization, the way they organize things, um, you know, it's just it's just an, it's an elite level. So I just saw it, saw it from a different lens. I saw it from a different perspective. And I think the basketball part, you know, the defensive schemes I learned, the offensive schemes I learned, I think will be really beneficial um, here in Notre Dame and, and the women's the women's game. So I'm I'm excited to try to, you know, hopefully those things translate the things that I learned. Neil, you got very emotional talking about uh, Coach Muffet McGraw and your press conference announcing your hiring. Um, do you remember what it was like all those years ago when Muffet was recruiting to you? What was the pitch that she used 25 years ago to get you to come to Notre Dame? Yeah, we developed a really strong and really close bond through the process, um, just getting to know her and coming on campus. And, um, you know, her pitch was obviously the education piece, and that was really important to my family. Um, you know, finding a home that had the best of both worlds, great academic institution and also a really great athletic um, institution, a great coaching staff. And that was her pitch, really, just for me to come in athletically to make an immediate impact. She, you know, she talked about me being the, her future point guard, handing the ball off to me and, and giving it back in four years. It ended up being five years uh, with my with my time at Notre Dame. But, you know, I just felt like it was a it was a closeness. I felt safe with her. And I, I really bonded with uh, with Coach McGraw and the coaching staff. And that really sealed the deal for me. So as we wrap up, Neil, uh, you know, no pressure here, but you're coming off a tough rebuilding year. You're already ranked 13th in the preseason polls. Does that sound about right? You know, I'm, I'm like Coach McGraw. I'm really not trying to look at the polls, so I didn't know that. But, um, you know, I think we're, we're 
we have a great returning team. They, they went through a lot last year. We have three major players that are be, will be returning from injuries, and I have a great incoming freshman class that I'm going to really rely on. I think they're talented enough to make an immediate impact, um, and we're just going to get better every day and just hopefully, you know, you know, it's a really great year. But I'm just excited. We have a, a, I have a great group of girls to work with, and so I'm just super excited to get back with them. Well, Neil, I speak on behalf of all the Notre Dame alums out there and fans. We can't wait. So thank you for joining <laughs> us on the fight. We're so excited for you and our women's basketball program. Can't wait to see what's going to happen out there.